Senate has rejected the 2016 budget of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS. The Senate rejected the budget proposal after going through the recommendations made by its finance committee. The committee recommends that a total expenditure of $143 billion, $722 million, $430,526 Naira be approved for the FIRS in 2016. Lawmakers frowned at the increase of 25 billion naira in personnel cost, while the overhead cost of the agency also rose by 13 billion naira. Lawmakers wondered why the figures drastically increased in the space of one year. I think uh, the chairman must also throw light on why the personnel cost between 2015 and 2016 has increased by about 20, 25 billion while the overhead cost between 2015 and 2016 has equally increased by about 13, 13, uh, 13 billion. We really want improve, improvement in our revenue drive. And when you have this kind of shortfall, it's cause for concern. So did you actually ask them why you had, they had this, uh, 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 I mean, uh, they, why they were not able to meet their revenue project for 2015, and what are they doing? to make sure that uh, they actualize their revenue project for 2016. Senate President Bukola Saraki ordered its finance committee to withdraw the document and to properly tidy up a number of issues raised concerning it. I can see that 100% everything FRS projected you are recommending. If you go to page 2016 FRS proposed budget, Everything exactly to everything up to the every single naira, and surely by November now we have the actuals to September, so we can at least be able to be more accurate on there, unless there was a typographical error or something. And I believe that as late as October, if the committee is still meeting, then definitely the committee should be able to give us more realistic figures, which will also help us in 2017 exercise. Uh, secondly, also, some of the query raised by some of the uh, colleagues that have spoken, particularly regards also the capital projects, that they must, again, there's some ambiguous items that in the past have always come out repetitiously, and this will give us an opportunity also for the committee to go back and review that. So I think in, in view of the general comments, I think if the view of the, of, of the floor is that the matter report is sent back, I will give the committee about uh, one week to tidy up of this organization and bring back the report. I'll put the question, those in favor that we do that say aye, those against say nay, the ayes have it. Meanwhile, Senate President Bukola Saraki is warning that the Senate will come down hard on any ministry, department or agency of government who violates the public procurement law which compels them to give preference to locally produced goods in Nigeria. Senator Saraki, who was speaking at a meeting with members of the Leather and Allied Products Manufacturers Association of Abia State, says government spends more than two trillion naira annually purchasing goods, and that the aim of the Senate is to ensure that a large chunk of the funds go into the pocket of Nigerian manufacturers. Agencies of government must, by law, shall ensure that anything they're going to purchase, they must look first as a locally produced. And as you showed an example, the military, the army announced uh, earlier on uh, in, in the month or last month that they're ordering 50,000 boots uh, from, from, from the military. If the army can do it, I, I also challenge, I hope the chairman of the committee is here and through this challenge, all the other agencies, whether it is uh, Air Force, whether it is FIA, uh, Youth Corps, 